see that? There was like way less jiggle than normal. Ugh, I'm like starting to get my arms together. I don't know how to flex. Very good. Yeah, I need to work on that. Yeah, how much thinner my arms like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Obesity is, whoa. I just keep the camera. Hey, two beauties. So today I am giving you guys an update on my weight loss journey. Um, I have been tweeting and Instagramming and Facebooking and Tumblring <laughs> everything as far as my weight loss journey um, and kicking all of that. I'm trying to keep you guys in the loop of what I'm doing that's helping me lose weight. Thus far, I have lost seven pounds since February. So in a month and some change. And uh, the way that I've been doing that is by exercising. I exercise at least five times a week. Um, I take different classes so I can do kickboxing, I do abs, I, do, I don't do Zumba. That doesn't really work up my sweat like I need it to. Um, and then I also do my own different like lifting exercises and I do a lot of cardio, a whole lot of cardio. If you want to lose weight, do cardio. Another way that I am losing weight and inches is by what I'm eating. So I eat like a pretty much like the paleo diet but not as extreme as that so I pretty much don't eat anything that's processed if it's processed I don't want it period because that it takes longer to break down in my body and it sticks around in places I don't want it to be so it's not gonna work another thing that I eat a lot or I guess drink are juices vegetable juices that I that I make with my personal juicer and my personal blender with different fruits and veggies and it's like more fruits and veggies than you could possibly eat in a day in a cup and you drink it down it's a maze ball. Another thing is my uh, Visalis shakes I use these all the time um, I did a video about it what like a couple of weeks ago talking about the shakes and I also linked a more info video in the more info section so I will do that again this time I am also going to have a shake party now you guys don't live anywhere near me for the shake party so of course you won't be able to really like taste the shakes and all that stuff but I want you guys to be able to um, talk to me and ask me any questions specifically about Vaisalis um, so I am going to have that party when I get back from Germany I'm going to do a, a shake party on uh, blog TV and I'll leave all that information down below so that by the time you're watching this I'm probably about to be back or I am already back um, with that said, I will leave the date and the time and all my information for Blog TV so that you guys can meet me there um, and just tune in. And pretty much you can type in your questions and you'll be with me essentially on uh, Blog TV and I'll answer all of your questions. I'll also have some friends with me who are either doing the shakes or um, want to start doing the shakes. Also, I have information for people who actually want to start promoting. I know that a lot of people said that they have, so if you sign on three people, you get your shakes for free. For every month that those three people buy shakes, you get your stuff for free. As long as it equals a certain amount based on what your shakes cost, like what your uh, kit is. If you have been to MissTrueHappiness.BodyByVi.com, there are three things you can do when you get on there. You can click join the challenge, which will start you signing up for what uh, whatever kit you want, and um, that'll get you going instantly. You can then click, or you can click promote the challenge, which will make you a promoter like me. And you can help get people on, tell people about it, and make money from it. Um, I'm not doing this to make money. I try not to push this down you guys' throat, but a lot of people keep asking me about it. So the only way that I can talk about it is to address everybody at once via this video or my blog TV event. If you are somebody who just needs a little bit of spare change and you might know a lot of people and you have a good network of people around you, I would seriously join the challenge. Even if you just have cousins or brothers or uncles or friends who are all trying to lose weight, get them on the challenge with you. It's better to do it with somebody. Like me, I don't necessarily need anybody to tell me to go to the gym, so it's cool. But when you have your friends with you, it makes it a whole lot easier, a whole lot more fun, and you're much more willing to do it. And then so. the third thing you can do when you are on that site is go and put in all of your information and I will contact you. because. By putting in your information and submitting that form, that lets me know that there's more info that you want to know and I can help you get to that point. A lot of people say that they don't know what the crap to do once they get on the site. So that's what you do when you get there. Sorry if I wasn't a little bit clearer last time. So before I get to my actual results, I want to answer a few more questions that I've had about working out. Number one, how the heck, Al, do you keep your hair from looking crazy when you work out? Now me, I sweat in my head. My head and my lower back are the first places to start like dripping y'all and like my chest like dripping sweat um 
And I sweat in my head every single time I work out. If I'm not soaking wet when I leave the gym, I didn't work. It wasn't good enough. I need to go back and do more, pretty much. Um, so, let me introduce you guys to your two new best friends when you are working out. Boop boop. A hair tie and a uh, like a hair band, like a sport headband thing. What I pretty much do is I tie my hair back in as tight of a high ponytail as possible. The purpose for the high ponytail is that it leaves the longest parts out. Um, so furthest away from my head essentially and I just put it in a ball like I just take all my hair like this and put it in a ball so that it's in a little ball like that away from everything the reason why I do that is because it pulls all of my hair away from the part that is wet um, so like the roots of my hair are gonna be thicker like it's just how it's gonna be but I'd rather have thick roots and a slim body and trim body than good looking hair all through the week and my body is not where I want it to be you know what I mean also put this around the front of my head um, you know the way that you wear a headband normally and um, you can buy headbands like this anywhere just anywhere with a headband like that it doesn't have to be a certain kind of headband that absorbs sweat blah, blah, blah. no just anything that'll stop the sweat from a dripping down your face and be really like just sitting on your head and letting your hair go all sorts of crazy while it's wet so that the bottom is still pretty but the top, you can't tell that it's like thicker than a mother in there. Like you won't really be able to tell. And when it starts to get really bad, I reach for the top knot, honey. Like day four, I gotta go to the top knot. Okay, another question, insanity. You guys see that I just started doing insanity. I did my fit test and I did day one and I'm gonna go do day two when I'm done with this. Insanity is a beast, but if you want to see results, you have to push yourself. I'm not saying you guys need to go out and do insanity. because, Or if you're on the treadmill and you can talk on the phone, like you're not working out. You're just wasting time. Like you might be lapping people on the couch and burning like maybe 50 calories. But like when I run, I run. I do like intervals. So it's like sprints. Um, so it'll go from three to six to four to eight. Three to six to four to eight. That is like spiking your heart rate. So when I spike it like that, it's like faster burn. So they say. And it seems to be working because I am losing weight and I'm losing inches like you would not believe. I need to go buy one of those little inch things so I can tell you guys how much smaller I'm getting. But trust me, I feel it in my clothes. I see it in the mirror. I see the definition in my arms and my stomach and stuff like that. Like I wasn't obese, but I had a lot of extra fat and things like that that just really just don't even, it just didn't need to be there. Out to the part that everybody wants to see, uh, the before and after picture. Pictures. So here's what I look like before. Yeah, that was my before. Like, you guys didn't realize that, did you? Like, these pictures are me not sucking in my stomach on both of them. So this is how I look without like trying to be cute in a picture. So that's the before and this is the after. Yep, that is that is me right now. That's how I look. I love it. I can't even really get the my abs to really show to you guys. It's nighttime. Like I've eaten three meals. Well, I've had like five meals so far today. Like it's the end of the day. And that's how my stomach looks. So I really should show you guys how it looks when I first wake up in the morning. Like, ooh, that is bomb. Like I have cuts on the sides and all that stuff. And that's only after a month and a couple of days, y'all. Like seriously seriously like I was slacking I was slacking off before like I was I put on so much weight it was ridiculous so like I said I have lost seven pounds if you want to follow me on my journey you want to see what I'm doing take all these steps join the challenge with me that's the best way 
the challenge you document everything that's going on and everybody who's on there with you can see what's going on for you it doesn't show how much you weigh or anything like that it's more for like a motivational tool and then there's also my fitness pal which i use all the time and that my username on my fitness pal is miss true happiness just like it is here on youtube and on twitter and on instagram and on tumblr and on facebook and all that stuff it's the same everywhere follow me on my fitness pal track what you're eating seriously like if you scan something in right before you eat it and it looks ratchet like the calories are ratchet and it's your caloric intake for the day it will make you second guess eating that and you probably won't which means you'll probably won't have to work nearly as hard to lose the weight you know what i mean the meal replacements I think that's what's doing it for me y'all I really think that's what's doing it for me I am back to replacing two meals a day I I'm only doing two meals a day because I want rapid results if you need to replace two meals a day because I put on that much excess weight in my opinion this is my opinion this is my body whatever I'm not starving myself I'm not hungry I'm taking in enough calories I'm working hard and it's paying off and that's the only thing that's gonna do it the shakes are gonna help you lose weight if you work out or not but you will see so much more of a difference if you do. So every now and then I do cheat. I don't cheat for a whole day. I just have like a cheat meal once a week. I will leave my uh, party and all that information down below so that you guys can meet up with me and we can talk and any questions you guys have will be answered during that. Um, as well as just anything really in general. You can just come and hang out and we can chill and have our time so that's gonna be it for this video if there are any more questions that I haven't answered of course leave your questions down below I want to try to help you guys as much as I possibly can because obesity is out of control it's just out of control like I see like five-year-old kids that weigh like a hundred pounds like you're you're this tall why do you weigh more than me well I weigh more than a hundred pounds but you know what I mean like you're that young you shouldn't be that overweight and it's just honestly like what we eat and our habits and we just have to do better like if I could live to a hundred that's what I really want to do and I want to live to a healthy a hundred like I want to be mobile and still feeling good and still have my own teeth and not have high cholesterol and not have high blood pressure and all that kind of stuff and I know most of that is hereditary but as much as I can do to try to help myself avoid all these problems I am going to do that so I'm gonna step off of my soapbox now and I will see you guys in my next video love ya bye